I don't want to set the world on fire. Greystone and Greystone style of dancing uh, is referenced from the Greystone Ballroom, uh, one of the most fabulous ballrooms in the nation. Early on from Paradise Valley in Detroit, we had most of our businesses and nightclubs and everything and African Americans grew up in Black Bottom. Greystone is a style of dancing referred to as a soulful ballet. The close embrace social dance is what the Greystone style is an extension of. And it's your close embrace, it's your ballroom style, and it's an African American dance, African American style of dance in a close embrace. It's your essence of ballroom, of closeness of two people moving as one, moving around, interpreting the music. It's a lot of uh, impromptu, a lot of improvisation. Um, each individual has their own feel, but there is a certain style. and. Normally, you can recognize it readily. Yeah, because it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Makes you feel good all over. This is my exercise class. <laughs> I just don't have gym shoes on. That's all. I do this for exercise, for real. When I get when I through dancing in here, I prefer to go take a nap. There used to be a uh, dance hall called the Greystone right here on Wilson. I used to go there. Some of these folks know about it, but they didn't go. I've been, I've been there. We travel all over the world dancing together. Oh yeah, this is the Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Disney, no, World. Disney World. Disney, Disney, Disney World. Disney World. Disney World of dance. The best teachers in the country are here in Detroit. And they travel all around the country. Giving lessons and going to events and having workshops. You can learn. Step here. You, we are known for ballroom, graystone, bop, bop, chop. Oh, bop, chop. And there's classes. Every night of the week, there's someone's class. The natural tendency for the ladies, you guys are speeding up because you're trying to help us. You don't have to speed up. We're going to walk you through it. One, two, three. So at 6 o'clock, we start ballroom class, and we start with the dinner. Oh. It's a full dinner, and that's every Monday. Typically, about 7 o'clock, I start class, and I teach everybody. Okay. for about 40 minutes okay. and then we break up into groups mm -hmm. beginner intermediate and advanced and then we have open dancing from 9 to 11. <laughs> Smooth. When I saw him, I asked him to come over and talk to us, tell us. He always has lots of stuff going on, mainly his weekly classes. And you have hundreds of people that show up in your classes, right? Literally hundreds. 34 couples have met in our class and got married. We've been, we've been to uh, 34 weddings. Uh, what else? we got a lot of stuff going on all across the United States. And then we teach in schools, we teach kids too, so. Six o'clock. Right, set, right. Twelve o'clock, boom. You can dance every night of the week in the city of Detroit. And it is a safe, wonderful environment for the dance. It's a dance community. The dance community in Detroit has all different genres of dance. We listen to all different genres of music, and it is just absolutely, this is the center of it all. And it permeates throughout the country, but this is the, the heart of dance. First got back into ballroom dance. I've been dancing since about 77, 6, 78. And um, when I first started, got back into it, I walked into Reggie's Moulin Rouge, which is the place where all the older people dance. Uh, I seen some people dancing, doing a demonstration. I asked them where they were at, and I went to it. I walked in the doors, there were so many fantastic dancers. And, and I remember starting to bring younger people there. And they were saying, Kevin, don't bring the people there. We don't want to be with the young people. That was the disconnect. Well, I'm the guy, I'm that guy that connected the old and the young. Reconnected dancing to the city of Detroit. Now, that don't mean it would have died. That don't mean it would have died. It just means that I'm the one that pretty much pushed it together right then. I've been teaching for at least eight, at least eight years, and anyone can learn it. Uh, you know, we've been in schools, public school system, 
you know, we teach uh, fourth, fifth graders, you know, and uh, all the way up to seniors in high school. So the age range is like seven or eight to 87. But there's always some type of interpretation when that music turns on, you know, but to dance to it is probably the greatest interpretation of, of all, you know, when it comes to music is to be able to dance to it. Because when you think about it, all around the world, every country, nation, have their own particular culture of dance. Why is that? Why is that? I mean, it, it's natural, you know? It's natural, it's like the universe has this rhythmic, you know, swing to it. It's a natural part of us as being human beings. I always say I'm blessed to reach every age, so just this past week I turned 63. And I'm just really blessed that I'm able to keep up with them. And so I want to continue that. Absolutely. Yeah. This is Hip and Rosemary Louie, and they're from LA. It keeps the wife happy. But the thing is, it's something that we can do together, and it's fun exercising. 